Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to our next video. Today guys, yo, it's creating shenanigans in Jamaica. So today we'll be talking about which bank in Jamaica is the safest. Guys, comment below. Tell me which bank in Jamaica is the safest. Ensure that you like, subscribe, and share this video. Yes guys, so what we're going to do today is we're going to be looking at which bank in Jamaica is the safest bank. I personally, right, I use every single bank. I've had experiences with every single bank. My worst experience overall was with Scotia Bank, right? I had lost some money one time from my Scotia account and guys, it took me like around nine months to get back my money. When I got back my money, it was you know i got a lot of attitude the service wasn't good and i'm a person that i was born in scotia scotia is the first bank account i ever had my mom used to work for scotia so having that having that experience totally deterred me away from scotia and from since then i haven't really used used my scotia card or my scotia account i felt comfortable with keeping funds in my scotia account so now we're going to be looking at the different banks and how beneficial they are okay so we're gonna start with ncb ncb is a good bank right however they have had a lot of breaches over the past three years right i like the approach that they take because you know they take a more modernized approach you know they're they're up to date with things however what we'll find is i personally think ncb employees especially those from the administrative positions they have too much access too much access meaning that a lot of these breaches that you hear people talk about they have nothing to do with like just a customer just losing their money right all of these breaches took place from administrative positions meaning that people with unauthorized access accessing people's account taking out their money transferring their money all sort of stuff right so i think ncb is overall good when it comes down to technology however i think they need to tighten up on the access of the administrative staff so they don't really have access to customers funds a next point about ncb they're very heavy on marketing hence why you know a few scams are targeted around ncb customers if you notice sometimes they get some links and those stuff are emails and stuff right targeting you as a ncb customer because ncb is heavily on marketing and stuff like that so these scammers are hackers they try to you know get access to your account by sending you you know wrong links and stuff like that however ncb is good overall however that's just really the things i need i think they need to you know tighten up on because they have a lot of branches over the island they do have a lot of atms a lot of, a lot of stuff right but they just need to tighten up on that and yeah from that i think they'll be good scotia hell no I, <laughs> I can never feel safe at scotia to be honest because scotia you think ncb has issues scotia has been having breaches over the years especially when it comes down to older clients right a lot of older people lose a lot of money out of their accounts on a month-to-month -month basis from scotia it's the same thing right however the difference with ncb and scotia scotia don't have the level of technology that ncb has right however all of these administrative breaches are still taking place and we can see that these things taking place right across the board you know giving people access right that don't deserve the access and i think that is the main problem when it comes down to banking institutions in jamaica so i've had my scotia bank account for probably over 10 years now right or way over 10 years i've had my scotia account and trust me i've heard a lot of stories i've seen a lot of scenarios as i said before i have personal experience so scotia is a bank when it comes to ratings i can never feel safe with my scotia account to be honest all right now we take a look at another bank right i've only had an account with this bank while i was working at the car center which is cibc right they are a good bank great bank i've never really heard any issues about you know customers getting defrauded of their money or any stuff like that however what i do know though is when it comes down to using your cibc card wow they have a lot of restrictions 
However, what I need, what I think they need to realize is we're in a modern day, right? Modern age, right? People want to use their cards online to buy stuff, and I think that is where CIBC drops the ball. They have a lot of online restrictions when it comes down to their cards. I've I've known people that is trying to use their CIBC card to shop on Amazon, and it's not going through. Like, come on, Amazon, right? The whole world shops on Amazon. So I think that's where the, where CIBC, you know, dropped the ball a bit. However, when it comes down to overall security, customer service, all of that, I think they're a very good bank. But you know, they just need to you know loosen up on the online security a bit, so you know customers can use their cards more and understand the flexibility. I think I think these banks overall they need to spend the time to educate themselves about the the overall world, because what they need to understand is that Jamaica is a third world country right however we want to have access to first world things online so the banks need to need to realize that and understand that that you know the world is way ahead of them so they need to you know free up the access and what they need to, to, to the less the access on is administration jn great bank right however jn is yet to have a visa card <laughs> Kinda of rough. JN is yet to have a Visa card. The online platform sucks, but I've never heard a case with JN, right? Um, JN is a bank like this, right? JN is a trustworthy bank in Jamaica. A lot of farmers, you know, a lot of those type of people use JN. People that are not really technologically advanced, a lot of them use JN. And let me tell you this, right? I've had a friend in the UK that I've that I've been around before and he told me that he sold a property for probably around 100 million and when he went to JN probably like 10 years after the money is still there right so that is JN if you leave your money there there's a lot of people that leave their money in JN and for 10 years 20 years they go out there and sit and their money is still sitting in that bank account right probably because JN is not like 100% investment heavy you know so you know your money is going to be there however with other banks trust me if you leave that in scotia or ncb and you come back all type of issues to get back that money so yeah man jn jn is good they just need to you know get more modern get get us some visa cards you know better online technology so people can you know um do, do what the bank transfers and stuff like that from bank to bank so that's just really what i think jn needs to work on other than that jn is jn is great JMMB, which I think in the next five years, JMMB will become industry leaders in Jamaica, right? I recently opened a stock account at JMMB, right? And the service was so good, I opened a bank account. And the process was extremely easy and hassle-free, right? They get to the point, you need this, 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 that's all you need, right? You don't need to tell me that, all right then, you need proof of address and proof of employment or proof of your business and stuff like that. And then when you reach the bank now, they want to give you 500 more things that you need. No. no. JMMB, this is, what I, well, this is the bank that I recommend, guys, right? So I recommend and I urge everybody to go ahead and go get a, a JMMB account. Because guess what? They email you about every single thing that you do. Every single transaction that you do, they're emailing, right? If you do a stock purchase, they're emailing you. If you do the request, they're emailing you. If you sell the stocks, they're emailing you, right? And you can manage and access your portfolio, your bank account, everything online. They have a Visa card and I've used their Visa card online and I have never had, it's never been declined for me, right? It's good, you know. The only point I think they need to work on, right, is, you know, I think they need to get more ATMs around the island, especially the deposit one, because, you know, you can't really join the long bank line every time to go deposit. But however, other than that, it works good, right? It works great works great but you know that we have multi-link in jamaica so that's not really a problem however just just the deposit part so you know we need some of a few jmmb um atms but other than that jmmb is the bank that i recommend right so i think they're my secret pick and i've never i've not really heard any cases about you know the, the, the fraud any fraud them involving in any fraud and stuff like that yet still they have you know such a good online platform but they are relatively a new bank right and a new one small bank in jamaica however they're they're i think they're very good when it comes on to what they do my next bank and i added this bank to the list right as a little bonus for you guys especially for who want to save right but we talk about we're talking about 
cooperative credit union. They're not a bank, they're a credit union. So this is not investment focused. So, so if you're a person who's speaking about investing and stuff like that, this is a bank that I'm telling about saving, right? So when you want to save that bank towards that project, this is the bank, right? And the thing about saving in this bank is remember, it's a credit union. They're built around loans. Once they build a good relationship with this bank and you meet the requirements and all of that stuff, you will be able to get loans. They have a lot of saving plans. They have like partner plans and stuff like that, right? And one thing I've noticed with cooperative credit union, if you go in there, you see a lot of mature people working in there. The reason being, I don't know if it's a culture with this bank or, or something like that because it's like people don't leave the jobs. <laughs> you see that when you, when you go in there and you look on the TV, you see that this employer has been working with them for 30 years, this one 25 years, 28 years. You get me? People put people like that, they're not leaving the job. So they, they, they know the system, they know the in and out to the system, especially when it comes down to the loan system. And, and stuff like that so if you're a person who really wants to you know to have a have an account that you can put your 25 percent away every month that you want to save do that do that with a cooperative credit union and they're getting better when it comes down to technology you know they they, they have master cards now and visa cards um i'm not sure about the online banking because i've never used the online banking but i know the one that i have i have a visa card with them or i think it's a master card and it works well it works everywhere you know it works online so very good guys so you can definitely check them out but those are my top picks when it comes down to which bank is the safest so overall safest in jamaica i would say is jmmb when it comes down to saving right i would say cooperative credit union so that's it guys and that wraps it up guys hope you guys found this video very informative and i'll catch you guys in the next video ensure that you like subscribe and share the video with your friends